Hello, thanks for watching The Political Vigilante. I'm Graham Elwood. So we're gonna talk about one of the camps at Standing Rock. There's still several hundred people up there at Standing Rock as of this is being recorded on Monday the 20th of February. And I wanted, there's this article in truthdig.com by Donald Kaufman that came out uh, today, February 20th, President's Day, uh, about the camp at Oseti uh, Sakowin. Sorry, my, I don't know how to pronounce that, Native American. I apologize. <laughs> um, there's around 50 people in this particular camp. And why they're talking about this one is apparently this was one of the more bigger, vibrant camps during the sort of height of people going up there to protest. And now it's dwindled to about 50 people. It's obviously the dead of winter in North Dakota. It's very cold. There's several hundred people spread around several different camps up there. And this camp, they interviewed some people and they're a little worried. They had a ceremony, a Native American ceremony showing children how to build teepees and the cops lined up in full riot gear telling him to take it down because you're not allowed to build a teepee on Indian land, according to the cops and the federal government. And this shit has been going on in Standing Rock since Obama was president. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. they've talked about uh, police, many of the people at this camp have been subjects of police violence. They have spent nights in jail. The media has vanished. The mainstream media is not there at all. And there are, it's just like, they're thinking like within days, there's gonna be a giant military strike. The, the police will restrict access of getting in and out of there. And you're not allowed to bring in camping supplies, sleeping bags, anything like that. You're not allowed to, to bring anything to help. The, the police are blocking this. This is what protest in America is like, you guys. The cops are just gonna, they're gonna squash it. And they're just like, oh, we'll wait them out. I'm sure they're just like, we'll wait them out. Once Trump gets sworn in, we'll wait them out. I mean, Obama, you know, Elizabeth Warren barely did anything about it. Obama barely did it at the very end. And now he got Trump who's just gonna like steamroll. He's just gonna steamroll people. He can't wait. He cannot wait to start deploying the National Guard for anything, immigration, anything. He can't wait for this shit. So they're anticipating a raid and coming within the next couple of days. And it's, 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 I, I read this story and I just like, oh yeah, standing rock. Like every day there's a new thing. Like if there's a new, you know, sometimes it feels overwhelming. Like there's a new crazy appointee that everyone's protesting. But I guess the upside is everyone's protesting. People are going to town hall meetings and just, you know, yelling down Democrats and Republicans for voting for these people, but there's still people up at Standing Rock and some of them have been up there since August. And I still feel a little helpless. And as I talked about it in an earlier video last month, pull your money out. If you're like, I wanna, you know, many of us can't go up to Standing Rock and protest and chain ourselves to a pipeline, but we can do stuff. And many cities like Seattle and the city that I live in, Santa Monica, just now uh, cut ties with Wells Fargo. Uh, I have pulled my money out of, I had an IRA at Wells Fargo and I'm pulling it out. There's been some paperwork hassles, so it's like, it's being slowed up. My guess is on the Wells Fargo end. But if you go to defunddapple.org, D-A-P-L, Dakota Access Pipeline, you can get information on how to pull your money out. And also, you can petition your city if your city is doing any business or getting any funding or doing any sort of business with any of the big banks. If you go to defunddapple.org, you'll see it's all the usual suspects. It's Wells Fargo, it's Chase, it's Bank of America, and many others from banks around the world. So go to defunddapple.org and figure out how to pull your money out. There's credit unions, there's non-for-profit banks. I pulled my IRA and I'm putting it into Beneficial State Bank. Um, of course, Wells Fargo was making this, I thought it was done. I thought it was a done thing. I did it, yay, and I posted it online. I did it, but Wells Fargo's holding it up because they're dicks. So um, 
yeah, that's what you can do. That's what we can all do. And stay vigilant. Pay attention.